Hello everyone, and welcome to The Breakdown with AP, an in-depth look at some of EuroLeague's best players. I'm Alec Peters, also known as AP. I'm a former second round NBA draft pick, a EuroLeague champion in 2019 with Seska Moscow, and I'm a current member of the first place team in EuroLeague Anadolu FS. I'm gonna be giving you guys a special look at EuroLeague's top talent through detailed film breakdowns and highlights. So let's get started, let's watch, let's learn together, let's get to it. Welcome to The Breakdown. This episode features Baskonia foreman Tornike Shingelia, or Toko as he's commonly known. Toko is a former first team all EuroLeague selection from 2018 and was well on his way to capturing those honors again before the season was cut short. With averages of 16 points, 5.5 rebounds, about 3 assists and 1 steal per game, Toko is a matchup nightmare for teams in the post and from the outside as well. We're going to break down his dangerous post play and also how he's turning into a reliable shooter from the perimeter. Let's get going with the first clip. I like this first clip here from Toko for a lot of reasons, so I'm going to let it play the whole thing, and then we're going to go back and take a look at why I like it so much. See there, post-up score. So as we started from the beginning here, we're going to break it down. So if I rewind it a little bit, we're going to see Toko does a great job of setting up his post-catch here. This is a play Basconia runs a lot for him. Um, they do it a couple times a game, and, and they get it on just about everybody. So right now, as you see, he's setting up almost like he's looking away from the ball. The ball's coming up the right side, and Toko's looking away. He acts like he's cutting away from the ball, quickly spins back his defender. Too late to realize it, he gets a catch in the spot that he wants it, right there on the block. Now also right here, as you see, he's alone. He's by himself, he's playing one-on-one, -on -one, and most of the time, it's going to result in a score. So he uses his dribble to back down. We have a Berlin player here coming to stunt or to come in and reach for the ball. He does a great job using his skill to pass fake, spin off the body contact for the easy bucket. This next clip we're going to see Toko catch on the left block this time. We're going to see him use one of his signature moves. We're going to play at full speed one time and we're going to go back, pause it, show you guys what makes it so good. So here we go. Shooters play for Matt Janning, ends up in a post catch, quick spin. Easy layup. So let's start it over here. We'll break it down. So this set right now is a shooter's play for Matt Janning. You're going to see him come to the middle of the paint, and he's got a choice. He's going to either come back to the top of the key, or he's going to come off Toko Shingelia's screen right there to look for his shot. He comes off. Now, he doesn't have it right here. The defender did a good job staying with him to prevent the shot. So what this ends up being is a duck-in post-up for Toko right there on the left block. Janning gets the ball to him. Now he's going to do one of his signature moves, and it's something that he scored on just about everybody in EuroLeague using this move because he's so good at using body contact, and he's very quick and very skilled with the ball. He's going to use one dribble to initiate body contact with the defender, and he's going to spin off him right there. Nobody in the paint to protect for the layup. I want to rewind it a little bit so we can see it again. Right here, post catch, spin off, quick move. Easy bucket. Now in the previous two clips, we saw Toko in a one-on-one -on -one situation on the block, on the left and right side, with almost no help, no double team, you know, easy, easy scores for him one-on-one. -on -one. So this time, what I want to look at and what we can learn from here, is since Toko is so good at using that signature spin move on the left side, we're going to watch this all the way through here. He's going to warrant a lot of people sitting in the paint, as you see Greg Monroe, the five man, sitting in the paint, and it results in a turnover. So we're going to play it from the beginning and show the details of it. The set's going to progress. So here we are, post catch for, for Toko. Like I said, he's such a dangerous one on one post player, he almost warrants a double team every time. Or on the dribble, you're going to see, as we see Byron do it here. The five man for Byron, Greg Monroe, sitting in the middle of the paint right now. Now Toko, using that signature spin move that he likes to on that left side, he's got to realize that there's a guy sitting in the middle of the paint, almost waiting for him to do it, waiting for him to turn to the baseline. And the defender guarding him is actually cutting off his middle dribble, forcing him to do the spin move to the baseline. Now when he does it here, you see there's almost a double team and everybody's in the paint at this point. You're going to see it in the next clip. Toko is going to uh, do a better job of uh, getting it out of the double team 
and creating a closeout situation for his teammates to a score. But right here you see he gets a little too aggressive, tries to split the double team and try to make something happen. We're going to see a roll into this next clip now. You're going to see virtually the same thing happen. He's going to spin to the baseline. There's going to be a double team that comes, but he's going to do a really good job right here of getting out of it and showing us what to do in this situation. So here we go. Left side post up. You can see the defender for Red Star right now is pushing him completely to the baseline, giving him no middle, and the five man for Red Star sitting in the middle of the paint waiting for this baseline drive. Now, good job right here. He stays balanced, keeps the ball dribbling, keeps it ball handling, and he's going to spin back out of it, and his teammates are going to really do a really good job of moving, and he creates a closeout situation here with the man from Luca Vildoza at the free throw line trying to catch up to prevent the shot. He's going to drive the closeout, throw up a pretty cool floater. So let's watch it all from the beginning and see how it is you should handle this double team here that Toko gets. And he gets this a lot. You know, a lot of teams game plan for his post catches. Uh, Basconi uses him in the post a lot, so he's game planned a lot for when he catches on the post. So this is what you're going to see majority of the time. Spin baseline, great job spinning back out of it. Great result in the end. Aside from his post play, Toko is becoming a matchup nightmare because of his progression as a perimeter shooter, and you can see from the numbers. In the 2017-2018 season, Toko attempted about 46 threes during a full season of play in EuroLeague. 2018-2019 was 28 three-pointers attempted, even though he only played in 20 games that season, still a pretty low number of attempts. Now you can compare that to this past season, before it was cut short, Toko attempted about 87 three-pointers. And that's with a 40% shooting percentage. So as you can see, he's gaining more confidence. He's becoming a more willing, more confident, no hesitation type guy from the perimeter when he gets an open look. And that's what we're going to see from these next two clips here. Toko is going to be in a spot up situation here after a play progresses. I'm going to let it run all the way through and then we'll go back. We're going to see a, a play progress that's going to end up being a pick and roll with four corner spacing. He gets an open look and knocks it down. So let's start it over. Go back and look at the details. We're not going to get anything off this initial action here. And when it gets back here, what I say by four corner spacing is now we need to fill both corners and then Nick Stauskas needs to kind of stay where he's at off of that left wing when the pick and roll happens. As the pick and roll happens, you see Toko start to space lower towards the corner. His man is bumping in this situation, meaning when the five man for Basconia is rolling, his man, Deshaun Thomas, is in the lane to protect from the layup or the lob. Now all this help creates an open, nobody around, look three-point shot from Toko, who knocks it down. Let's see it one more time. Here we go, here's the action. Pick and roll. Big time help from his defender, leaves him all the time in the world, no hesitation. I think this next clip really shows what I mean by Toko becoming a non-hesitation, a super confident, one-touch type of shooter from the perimeter. He's progressing that way. So here we go, we're going to let it roll. We're going to let it go all the way through the first time, and then I'm going to show you guys why this is so important for him. Great knockdown shot. So let's start it over from the beginning. We're going to see, kind of like the last clip, we're going to see some action happen. We're not going to get really anything out of it until the end here. We're going to have a couple pick and rolls, a lot of driving and kicking. Now right here, Siobhan Shields drives the gap to the middle. Toko's man helps. He's in the lane helping. And what this does is, is this creates a closeout situation. Now I think in the past, just from watching Toko in the past, in the past games, he wouldn't necessarily think of this as a knockdown, I'm rising up and I'm shooting this right away. He might maybe attack one more time, try to get to the basket. But his progression has become a guy that's going to take this shot, not even thinking about it, no hesitation. Now I want to watch it one more time, show a couple more things. We see the whole play going, moving with great speed, driving the gaps, penetration, now, he's got less time and space than he did in, this, in the last clip against Panathinaikos. Against Panathinaikos, we saw Deshaun Thomas in the middle of the lane with a long closeout, long recovery, and Toko had all the time in the world to knock this down. 
What makes this clip a little different is that he's got less time and less space to get this shot off. And that shows how confident he is feeling as a shooter from the perimeter. He didn't think twice about it. He caught the ball, rose up, and knocked it down. In this last clip here, I wanted to put a highlight that displays another dangerous part of Toko's game, and that's his ability to lead the break off of the rebound. So right here, we're going to let it play in full. He gets the rebound, pushes the floor, gives it up, gives it right back. Great finish. We're going to let it play one more time as we finish up this episode of Toko. His ability to lead, create, and finish on the break makes him that much more of a dynamic player in your league. There you have it with the Toko Shingeli episode of The Breakdown with AP. I want to thank Toko for being a big part of this. He's a great player to watch and to learn from. We have a lot of amazing players coming up on The Breakdown in the coming weeks. So stay tuned. See you guys next time.